Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be dyeing my hair with henna and indigo to cover up my gray hairs and color my hair jet black. This is another Ayurvedic hair care treatment that I'm trying out. It's a two-step process that if done right can help with the health and strength of your hair, meaning longer, stronger strands. If you wanna see how I mix and apply my henna, stick around. It's your girl Renee Barnett and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So to color my hair, I will be using henna powder, aloe vera powder, and apple cider vinegar. I started by measuring out my henna with a spoon, but then I quickly realized that I actually need to use the whole bag because I want to color my entire head and not just the gray area around the perimeter of my head. So next, I add in some apple cider vinegar, just a little bit at a time. Now this is my first time actually coloring my hair with henna and indigo. So in order to get the right consistency, I'm going slow. I'm adding in just a little bit of apple cider vinegar at a time and then stirring so I can get the right mix. So the consistency is supposed to be similar to a yogurt texture. Guys, just as an FYI, you can also use distilled water or black tea to mix your henna. I just decided to use apple cider vinegar as it was one of the options on the back of the package and apple cider vinegar is supposed to have restorative properties for the scalp like preventing dryness, adding luster and shine to the hair and helping to fight bacteria. So aloe helps to add moisture back to your hair. When used alone, henna can be very drying to the hair, especially if you already have dry hair like mine. So I added in about two tablespoons of the aloe vera powder, and I'm continuing to add in my apple cider vinegar until once again, I get that yogurt consistency. So just be careful and don't add too much liquid so that you don't end up making a mess and having runny henna dye all down your elbows. <laughs> as you can see I still need to add more apple cider vinegar I think in total I added about one and a half cups of the apple cider vinegar now you can see that my consistency is creamy it's the texture that I think is perfect for me to apply to my hair so I'm gonna let it sit for about maybe like two hours before applying it to my hair. That's what the directions say. And this is supposed to help with the dye release. So guys, it's been two hours and my henna is ready to apply. So I'm gonna try and apply it with this little brush. I'm gonna start in the front of my head to definitely cover up these little grays right here. But basically starting in the front and working my way to the back. Also make sure you use gloves because henna and indigo will stain your fingers and use an old t-shirt because it could stain your clothes too. So use something that you're not like pressed about. Now I'm just applying the henna with my little fancy brush to my roots and my edges and okay see this okay no now I'm just I'm gonna use my fingertips because this is not working out like I had planned so that way I at least have a little bit more control of where the henna goes so guys every time I leave one section of my hair I think that I've covered the gray hair and somehow they managed to pop back through the henna so I'm just giving my edges a little bit more extra love and care because I do not have time to be playing hide and seek with these grays girl I just do not even so I'm applying the henna as close to my roots as possible and then working the henna down the strands of my hair. So my hair is pretty saturated and I definitely recommend using your fingers to apply the henna. So now that I'm all done, I'm just gonna apply the plastic cap to my hair and the henna is supposed to stay in your hair for about two to four hours. I'm also gonna wrap my hair with saran wrap so that the henna does not get dry. And then I'm just gonna place my bonnet over my hair. Okay, so I have washed the henna out and it appears that my gray hair is gone. It is now a copper color. Now my hair does have a faint reddish tone. If you look close, you can, you can kind of see the red tone, but I don't even mind the red color. But I do want to try the indigo, so that is going to be the next step. 
Okay guys, even when I look at my part, I mean, there are no grays anywhere. I am so excited, yes! <laughs> I am not even annoyed that you can see the red. Okay, yes. Now I'm going to mix my indigo powder and I'm using the entire bag. The direction also says to mix in one to two tablespoons of salt. So the salt is supposed to help the indigo bind to the hair strands. Now I have heard of people saying that the indigo didn't take well and the salt is actually supposed to help with that problem. I also use warm distilled water and you're not supposed to use any other type of liquid. Other types of liquid can inhibit the dye release. So after letting this sit for about 30 minutes, it is ready to apply. And guys, I went through the same exact steps of applying it from roots to ends over my entire head. And I covered my hair with a shower cap and then saran wrap and a bonnet and I let it sit for four hours and the results look amazing. Like my gray hairs are gone. My hair is now jet black, which is exactly what I wanted. Now it did make my curls just a tad bit loose, but I am not even mad with these curls being looser, okay? That means probably less stress of detangling my hair. So no more grays anywhere, not on my edges, not in my part. My hair is nice and shiny. Guys, this worked out so good. guys i hope you enjoyed this video products that i use can be found in the description box below drop me a comment and let me know what you thought about this process would you go through these steps in order to dye your hair let me know what you think don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye